Yo, 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 what up? It's your boy Lil Belly back on the track. You already know. What's up? We're back. Uh, getting ready to go to Wisconsin in a few hours uh, for Schrammigan 40 MTB race. Uh, super excited. It was kind of a last minute impulse decision to go to this race. So uh, there's no real expectations except finish and hang out of the wheels and beat some Grand Prix people. So that's the goal um camp tonight and then probably pick up the vlog tomorrow morning i just got a lot of driving to do and nothing really to film so maybe a quick stop in marquette with some biking so yeah see you then yo what's good we're back um just woke up good night's sleep went to bed at like nine we got up at seven a few uh wake-ups in between you know i was pouring all night last night as you can tell, it's kind of still raining out there right now, so still going strong out there. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, the course is going to be super screwed up because I just checked Cable, which is the town over from where I'm staying at. I'm staying in Drummond, Wisconsin, and um, it's the same exact weather. It's going to be pouring. Uh, the course is going to be super muddy. Last year, I watched videos, super muddy, super messed up. So, you know, I'm excited, though. Uh, as a Michigan based rider, I ride a lot in the mud. So, you know, it could, especially after Order Shore, play to my skill set a little bit more rather than a fast dry course. Um, I think it's something I'm used to playing in the mud with boys. So, yo. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, we got packet pickup at two. It's currently seven ish right now. So, a few more hours to go. Might go for a little brekkie run, go out and get some food. So I was going to grill this morning, but I don't think I can with the rain, especially in time. Uh, I forgot my canopy. You know, I didn't think it was going to rain, but stupid me forgot the canopy. So, uh, can't grill. So I'll probably go out and get some food this morning. Um, but yeah, we'll pick you guys back up for packet pickup. I'm assuming it's supposed to be like a big festival. So I'm assuming it's going to be pretty cool. So I'll pick up the camera and I'll film through there. But until then, we'll see you guys. All right, we're out here. Uh, just exploring a little bit. We're at the picnic area um, in Schwamagon State Forest. Uh, we got the bike ready to go. She got a little wet last night, but the most part, it's still solid. Beautiful place out here. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna do some exploring. So this place is pretty sick. area part of it um maybe some more exploring you know it's kind of been a boring day so far it's been I mean, it's like 10 45 11 o'clock right now the rain's supposed to stop in 50 minutes um until then like i wanted to go for a ride today but it's just super cold and rainy so i mean i brought my colder weather gear uh just in case for something like this but all right we'll do some fishing in a little bit Bring a, a special rod. Yeah. What's up? Out on a pre ride right now. Getting in like the finish of the course working, you know. Figuring out what lines to go through. I mean, who knows how you'd be with people coming through here. I'm doing it myself, so. Um, no, I mean, it's kind of, as you can tell, like pretty wet and muddy. Uh, especially after. All the amateurs go through, it's probably gonna be even muddier, so. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty excited for this. It's pretty cool, cool experience. Um, looks like a pretty fast course. Just going up some of these, but um, I heard there's a lot of climbing. I didn't end up going to do a lot of beautiful course, so. Just finished up a little uh, dinner here night before the race it's about seven o'clock probably gonna wait till the sun goes down and hit the hay um kind of a late race different than what i'm used to so 1 p.m start although i gotta wake up at like nine something and go drop my car off and then take a bus over to the start so i don't have to ride the 20 something miles back to my car after the race but um yeah i mean i don't know i feel pretty good we'll see how it goes uh 
the bike looks good. I mean, tried to clean her up the best I could. Felt good. Had some pasta grilled up, but yeah. Uh, I had some recovery chocolate milk. And I think we're ready to go tomorrow, so. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just skip to tomorrow morning. <laughs> Second place from Heber City, Utah, Keegan Swenson. And in first place, in a spectacular finish and a great win from Pekarni, Michigan, Alexi Vermule. That was a brutal race, super hard. Uh, I thought I did pretty well. I, my result wasn't like, yeah, it was like mid-pack. Um, I did finish with a few lifetime Grand Prix people though, so that was my goal, was just to see if I could hang with some of those, uh, some of those guys. Uh, you know, legs were there until like eight miles to go and they kind of blew and my quads were cramping pretty hard. I thought I fueled myself right. I had both my bottles. I had um, some scratch energy chews, some honey stingers, and what else? Some cliff blocks. So I thought I did that right. I mean, I guess nothing could prepare me for that. Oh, we hit Fire Tower, which is the biggest climb, about like 26, 25 miles in, uh, with a group of four of us. And uh, that's where I started to feel it a little bit. Uh, I was able to, like, because, you know, climbs aren't my specialty. I'm kind of a... Uh, more of a flat or downhill kind of guy um, or short punchy climbs but fire tire was a solid like I think it, my Strava said like three and a half minute effort um, and it was super steep uh, really rocky too so rocky and muddy it was a lot muddier than I thought it was going to be today I thought it was going to be dried out but uh, there's so many puddles out there and I got so caked with mud my hands are still going but um, you know I went in gave it my all uh, I probably went a little too hard off the start. I got too antsy and tried to follow the lead guys. Um, but, you know, gave it my all, came across the line, did a little wheelie, uh, then came across to figure out that Alexi won. So uh, that was cool to see him take another sprint win. He got the win over Keegan. It's always super cool as Keegan's probably uh, the best well-rounded athlete cycling-wise in the world. So. It's always awesome to see someone like Alexi, who's just such a nice uh, person to get the win like that and represent for Michigan. So, um, next race up is what's my thing? Peak to Peak, I think, end of October. Um, yeah, I mean, now I think I'm gonna go ride some copper tomorrow. But yeah, that was a good well trip, well, uh, well spent money, I think. That was definitely worth it. Uh, Worked with a good group of people all day. Hammered myself into the ground. And uh, yeah, so that's it. I mean, I guess maybe we'll do a little bit of filming at Copper tomorrow. Uh, if my legs are kind of there, they were kind of cramping when I finished. I got like a three some hour drive now to go before I get back to Michigan Tech. Go go see some buddies and uh, spend the night over there. That's back down to the lower peninsula, back home. Some more training for peak to peak and then I'll probably pick up another vlog there but until then i'll see you guys later thanks for watching the video thanks for watching the recap and um, i'll see you guys in the next one